many missed tackles. Let's go. We're too damn soft. Focus on the details. Try to put me in a good mood today. I just hate mistakes. I hate mistakes. Come on, fellas. Let's go to work. Let's go to work, huh? Oh! Me! I wasn't real happy about it. Like I say, I'm going to protect my players. I would say if we were on the street, we probably would have had a fight. These guys would run through the wall for me. I'm going to run through the wall for them. So, you know, if some feathers get ruffled sometimes, so be it. Mike Zimmer is done. It's official. Now we can move forward. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left, literally, because I posted a video about four hours ago, but I had to take it down, because right after I posted a video talking about what's going on with Mike Zimmer, is he signed yet, does Rex Ryan have a shot, then, and if you would a couple hundred people that saw it, around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mike Zimmer officially, per Tom Palacerio and other um, official reporters, came out and said he's officially signing the Cowboys. And I was going to leave it up, but it wasn't getting no traction, so I took it down. <laughs> Listen, oh yeah, and before I get started, man, I appreciate y'all. We getting really, really close. That last video y'all put up, I put up, 30,000 um, views, or well, close to 30,000. I'm, I'm floored. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. For real, stuff like that, I don't, I don't overlook. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, you want to join the team? Because about three hundred of y'all did over the last couple of days. Hit the subscribe button. Join the cartel. But listen, Mike Zimmer is official. He's officially our coordinator, and I'm not mad. I said earlier, I wasn't mad if we got either one. But I'm starting to grow on Mike. Um, Mike, I was gonna say Mike Fisher, Mike Zimmer, because. I was thinking about this. The Cowboys usually go for the flashy move, the newsworthy move. And it looked like they was about to do it. Jerry Jones comes out, says Mike Zimmer Thursday. We wrap our mind around it. We get excited about it. I do a live about it. We talk about it. We digest it. And then a little wrinkle gets thrown in on Super Bowl Sunday. Hey, Rex Ryan's like, hey, man, he ain't really signed. What's up with you? And everybody gets excited like, oh, well, okay. You know, you start... Saying, okay, well, maybe if Rex, you know what I'm saying? Rex has this fiery type of speech during the pregame show in the Super Bowl, and everybody kind of locks in that, well, maybe we rock with Rex Ryan. It happens. We're human. And I think Jerry really thought about it. I don't know if that was the plan, because I'm not going to give Jerry and them that much credit, but with that happening, and then there was silence, there was no type of news on it, and then, of course, the Super Bowl happened, and nothing last night, nothing this first thing this morning. I think people started to realize, like, are we going to sign Mike Zimmer? And of course, when I put the video up, the news breaks. But I'm proud of the Cowboys, man. And I'll say that rarely, at least the front office. For going with the substance move, not the flashy move. And that doesn't mean that Rex Ryan can't coach or wouldn't have been a good coach. It still would have been the flashy move. The one that grabs the headlines. The one that makes everybody's neck turn. Instead of the substance move. Where we've been thinking about like, yo, Mike Zimmer's going to bring in a real different culture setting tone that our defense and our team can benefit from. But listen, sometimes you got to defer to people you look up to, people that you admire, people that you respect to break down things better than you can. So I'm going to defer to my brother Skywalker Steele. Y'all know who Sky is. You better know who Sky is. He breaks this down perfectly on his show. Please listen. There's a quote during this time in Minnesota that, that stood out to me, especially the end here. But here's a quote. Zim says, honestly, I want to fit our scheme to the players to the best of our abilities. Like I said before, it really does not matter if it's a 3-4 or a 4-3. As far as my philosophy, I want to stop the run and I want to hit the quarterback. However that is, if we got a blitz, I think we have a great blitz package but i want to be fundamentally sound in what we do let me repeat that part because the cowboys were not i want to be fundamentally sound in what we do there are teams that can go out there who can go out and make a lot of big plays 
but they are not fundamentally sound. 2023 Dallas Cowboys defense. Then when the game gets on the line, they do not perform in the crucial situations of the game. It's Mike Zimmer. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's perfect. Mike Zimmer's going to come in here and set a tone, an attention to detail tone, a fundamental tone, being sound at your job tone that we just have not had. I'm not saying that Dan Quinn wasn't a teacher, wasn't a great coordinator, nothing. I'm saying that his message got kind of stale to me. I'm saying that it wasn't innovative as it was when he first came in. It was predictable. People started to take advantage of it. And we were not disciplined. We were not sound. We did venture off and do different things. I've seen Michael Parsons do it. And I've seen other people freelance. And it would bite us later in games. So to hear Mike Zimmer say that as my brother eloquently delivered music to my ears. I'm even more excited. Just that message while he was a Vikings coach. You can see why they had top defenses during his tenure and type top defenses during his tenure where he wasn't a defensive coordinator. He was the head coach, but his scheme, that double A scheme was one of the big reasons why they had success. He was the architect. He might not have been the defensive player. I don't know if he was a defensive player caller. He might have been. But 100%, that was his scheme. I love that what I've been hearing about Mike Zimmer is he's a student of the game. And you can be a student in your 60s. I'm a student in my 40s. You know, you can learn something every day. It's all about do you got that hunger to learn, you know. And I wanted to read a message that Mike Zimmer sent out to Cowboys Nation the whole point of this video. If you've been watching this far, check this message out. I'm going to just read it real quick. Ed Water reported Mike Zimmer to me, um, to me on returning to Dallas and the D.C. Quick message. I'm excited and honored to be back with this great organization. I'm thrilled to work with Mike McCarthy, to whom I have a lot of respect or a ton of respect in our NFC North days. And to do anything I can to help the Joneses and the Cowboys. Quick message. But it's his first time speaking to us. I can't wait for the press conference to hear him actually speak directly. But it's the first message from Mike Zimmer. Even though it's written in this small message to us fans, to the players, you know what I'm saying, and to the world as the Cowboys defensive coordinator. So I think it's important. That's why I wanted to come and read it. Um, like I said, I just think he's going to provide something different, a 180 spin. You know, I think it's going to be a different direction for the defense, but a great one. Attention to details, hard coaching. Um, I feel like more teaching. And another thing that's next, what's or not what, who's going to be on this staff? I can tell you one person definitively, Al Harris. After that, I have no idea. Al Harris will be the DB coach because the Cowboys retain him. Unless Mike Zimmer comes in and says, nah, I'm good. But I don't think that's the case. I think the Cowboys want to keep him. And I know everybody keeps saying, y'all blocked him. He wanted to go to Washington. I don't know until Al Harris gets a chance to speak. I don't know. You never know if the Joneses made a sweep for him to just be like, I'm good where I'm at. You never know. He could have talked to Mike Zimmer at this point and be excited about his position. But I'm looking forward to who's going to be the linebacker coach. Because Scott McCurley, whatever his name was, nope. We lost Aiden Durday. So who's going to be our defensive line coach? Because I got a video I'm going to show in a minute um, that really highlights the detail, the stunts, the, the, the excellent gap discipline that did his defensive lines executed in Minnesota. And it will get you excited about what's going to happen um, in Dallas. But, you know, who's going to be these coaches? That's super important in the development of our players. So I'm looking forward to that, man. And if anybody knows in the comments, um, any, any guesses, any ideas on that, please put it down there. I'm excited about the Mike Zimmer signing, man. I really, really feel like it's going to bring a lot to the table. I'll